What is going on guys? Thank you so much for joining me today on this very, very non-scientific, quick little glimpse at firmware 7.0. Now this firmware comes with supposedly a fix for the autofocus bug that's been plaguing the X, XS20, the XH2S, the XH2, and the X-T5. Right now, I have the firmware loaded and we're shooting in Riala Ace, which so far, I mean, it looks very good. I think it looks very natural, but uh, we're gonna take it out another time outside and see what it really looks like. So I have been playing around for the past, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes with the autofocusing on my 18 to 120 f4. That's my favorite lens, and that's the lens that was giving me problems or the lens firmware body combination was giving me a problem about three weeks ago when I first posted my video about just the autofocus re being really bad and just pulsating. So it looks like the autofocus just from very first glance and just really just screwing around with it in like a controlled setting. It looks like it behaves better than it did when I had uh, firmware 6.0. I mean, just, you know, doing basic things like, you know, putting my hand out in the front. Like before it would like, the autofocus would try to kind of capture whatever is closest to it. So right now I have eye tracking on, uh, you know, I have, my hand kind of going over the eye tracking and it looks pretty decent, okay? I go in, out, moving around. Again, this is eye tracking. I have the left eye uh, as prioritized. I, th I feel like it just works much better without having to have the camera bounce back and forth, your left and right eye. I will say it's absolutely you know, not perfect. It is definitely an improvement from what I'm seeing right now. So now back to the eye. Okay. Let's try, we're gonna try tracking something. So when you track something, you, uh, you have to set it to wide tracking. And then in the back where the little joystick, thumb, thumb joystick thing is, you have to select the object that you want to track. So we're gonna go ahead and track this. Let's try it now. Okay, so now I see the green box is on the lens. I'm moving the lens around, as you can see. It's not, I'm not in focus. Okay. The lens is being tracked. I will say if you, you know, if you kind of move the object really, really quickly, uh, the green box will get lost. But just from this speed right now, like right now I just lost it, but <laughs> like I can kind of grab it with the lens. So, so yeah, um, I'm gonna turn that off. So yeah, the autofocus seems like it's a little bit better just from the first glance here. I'm shooting at ISO 3200, F4, 18 to 120. The 18 to 120 is on the latest firmware as well. So I'm just like, this is the best right now the Fuji can do. XH2S, eye tracking. It is definitely an improvement. It's, it feels like firmware 3.0. It, do, it doesn't feel like firmware 1.0. I remember having firmware 1.0 when I first got the X-H2S. The eye tracking would like be stuck on the eye. And it, and it like, like right now, I can see it kind of like having like a little delay where it would just kind of go around my eye a little bit and then just like then catch onto my eye. Before it was just literally stuck to the eye very very similar to what you would see like with sony or like canon where it's just really really sticky this is not sticky at all there's a little you know delay kind of like a little trail if you want to call it right but you know what it is a, a slight improvement from what i can see so far right now in my little room here but yeah that's it for me today just very informal non-scientific little test here 
very curious to see what you guys think about uh, firmware 7.0 if you feel like it has improved the autofocus in any way i would love to know um, yeah please let me know in the comment section and if you have any questions let me know and uh, that's it for me i will see you on the next one